Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about where, when, why, how, and who, not who, where, when, how to use the escape key in SketchUp. Who, who use, who escape, who escape? There's maybe a who in there somewhere. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and start going through here and figuring out the escape key and when we use it. So an important point too is that this is, of course, we're working with the desktop version, SketchUp uh, for desktop, which is where you'd hit the escape key. There's not an escape key on the, uh, the version for iPad, for example, so this wouldn't necessarily apply. Most of the time, the stuff we cover applies either way, but escape key, you got to have a keyboard for. So I think this works in the iPad version if you have a, like a smart keyboard or something, but you'd have to check. So let's just pretend we're desktop. Let's go. All right. So let's uh, let's take a look at some things here. Um, I have this model, this model I'm working on, uh, this, this uh, building model. And I want to talk about where, when, and why you might use escape. So I do have my key logger turned on. So when you see this symbol show up, see that? That's what it does when you hit escape. So if I forget to mention that I'm hitting escape and that little logo shows up, you know I've done that. So. Uh, when you break down SketchUp, there's two main tool types. Well, three. I'm going to say three. There's three main tool types you might be using. And we're not going to go into extensions because every extension developer has the option of choosing how they use Escape inside their extension. So we're not going to come up with that because there's no rules. But what we will talk about is where you might use Escape based on the tool type you're in. So the first, of course, is select. So if I'm in select and I pick something and I tap escape, nothing happens. If I'm here dragging a window like this and I hit escape, it does abort the selection process. So if I release it, all that stuff gets highlighted. If I drag like this and hit escape, it turns off. Once something is highlighted and I hit escape, nothing. So once the selection is created, I can't unselect by hitting escape. I can hit, click my left mouse button outside to turn it off, but the escape key itself only works whilst I am selecting. So if I come in here and start picking individual things, same thing, escape's not going to do that. I guess if I hold down the mouse button and escape, it does cancel it there too. So if I click there, yeah. So regardless of whether you're dragging or you're clicking, escape will stop the process and return you to your model. The other thing is drawing and I'll kind of group together, maybe drawing and erasing, or maybe there's four types, selecting, drawing, erasing, and then modifying. So let's talk about drawing. So let's, let's start with something simple like uh, drawing an edge. I'm going to go over here in white space. So if I click a point and I move to a second point, it's going to draw a line, an edge between those two points. And if this second spot I pick is not connected to other geometry, I'm going to stay drawing. So it's expecting me to want to draw more. If at any point you click and you don't want to keep going, guess what? Escape will disconnect you. Likewise, if I pick a first point and move and hit escape, it'll lose that first point. So like I was saying, if I have connected points, if I click from here to here, it automatically disconnects me. Hitting escape at this point, of course, does nothing. But in the drawing process, if you are between two points and you hit escape, it will unconnect and return you just to your standard pencil uh, cursor. Erase. So erase, like I said, is another. It's not. So this that's the same for most of these drawing tools. So if I come in here to draw an arc, start drawing, and I hit escape, it just deselects. Go hit a rectangle, start drawing, escape. Once I actually finish, though, of course, escape's not going to hit do anything. It's not going to uncreate something. But uh, anytime you're in any of our drawing tools, any of the drawing tools and you hit escape, it just disconnects. All right, with erase, very similar. If I come in to, this, is, this kind of works like select, I guess. If I come over, hover over something, I'm holding the mouse button down. As soon as I release it, it goes away. Hit undo real quick. So if I go hit each of these pieces right now, if I release my mouse button, they're going to go away. But if I hit tap escape, they stay. So that's kind of nice because you might come in here and go, whoa, that's too much. I didn't mean to do that. I could let it go and then hit undo, or I could grab all the stuff and then hit escape and it will deselect that. So 
regardless of modifier or anything else like that, hitting that button will get un unhighlight the things that you have highlighted with the eraser. All right, and then of course, like I said, the third thing is let me get rid of that edge right there, like that. The third option you might use is during editing or modifying tools. So let's say I grab this point right here and I start pulling it up and I realize uh, I don't want to be doing this. Hitting escape will just get you out of the command, put you right back where you were before. Grab this piece. Nope, that's not what I meant to hit. Escape. Uh, great way to get out of it. So pretty much anything. Let's, let's go through a couple of these. So if I'm in move and I grab a handle and start moving it, so I'm inside of the move command, and if I hit escape, everything goes back to where it was and it deselects. So if I select first, then I hit move, start doing this escape, it puts it back, but keep selected. So if I pre-select, select first, then go to move and tap escape, it keeps it selected. Remember I was saying that before, but unlike select select, so if I select, then I go into my modify command, and then I start to modify and I hit escape, it'll go back. Unlike select, if I tap escape again, it will deselect, which is really nice. So this makes it easy to go, all right, let's move, no, not that one, I'm gonna come to this one. And if I happen to have it pre-selected and I move, escape, no, I actually wanna get this one. How do I get this one? Hit escape once and now the pre-selection is turned off. So very nice, very simple, quick. And like I said, that, that's for all the commands too. So if I grab this piece and I start to scale and I go, all right, let's, oh, nope, that's not it. I didn't hit escape before I released. There we go. Escape puts it back. Escape a second time. Deselects. So any of the modify commands are going to let you do that. Um, the view commands a little different because if I'm orbiting like this and I hit escape, it just returns me to whatever my previous command is. So same with pan. If I'm in pan and I hit escape, it puts me back into scale. Um, not not. Uh, because these are different, I keep, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm because I'm, I, I had everything down as like two, we're either going to draw or we're going to modify, but then I go, oh, we're going to select or erase isn't really either of those. And now I'm realizing my zoom tools are actually a whole nother set of tools too that act differently with escape. So maybe there's only five different ways to use it. I apologize. There's a lot. Um, but uh, yeah. Escape usually gets you out of the process you're in and returns you back to that main root command you were just using. That's pretty much the easiest way to put all of this. Um, like I said, once we get outside of standard commands and we start getting into like extensions and stuff like that, that escape button can be programmed to do different things, I believe. So you might actually get different extensions or different tools outside of the native SketchUp doing some different things with escape because that's how it works. But overall, there you go. Escape command, great way to get out of whatever you're doing, jump back to whatever you're doing before. And uh, yeah, not too complicated, not too complicated, pretty easy to get a hang of. So I just realized I have a shirt that says escapee. I should be wearing that and I, I, I failed you, I'm sorry. Uh, if you like that video, click that like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Do you like these deep dives that we're doing into like little functions? Uh, if so, let us know what other function you think we should look at. Is there is there a specific command or a workflow or something like that you think we should dive deeper into? Or do you have an idea that's totally unrelated to anything you've done before that you think would make a good video? Let us know about that down in the comments. We like making these videos. We like them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.